Haley sounds like an old man eating a bowl of chili right now. Absolutely. So, uh, we're playing some more Dynasty Warriors. Have you gone back and listened to that podcast that you were listening to before? Not in a while, just because I ran out of data on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I need to, like, download a few episodes and then do that. Hmm. I'm probably going to download, like, a few episodes tomorrow. So, right now, we're doing the Battle of Cherby. Cherby? 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 The, the one that turned out to be the hypothetical for Waste Campaign, mm-hmm. we're doing it now uh, under Shu. So, this battle was very important because this is what, what basically decided the fate of China. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Shu and Wu combining forces to fight against Wei, uh, to fight against Cao Cao. And um, we do actually win this battle in the historical route, Shu and Wu. Oh, nice. So that's what this battle is for. And since we're still on the historical route, I'm not sure where the hypothetical happens. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. But uh, the point is that Cao Cao is approaching with a huge naval force that we have to uh, essentially defeat, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, So let's play as a poster boy. Sure. Sure, let's go with that. Oh. What was the volume at, by the way? Sure, let's go with that. So there's Lu Su and Zhao Zhao Yu. I masturbate loud as hell, and if you don't like that, then go to a different Olive Garden. Master Zhou Yu. Zhou Yu. All is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. Talk of fighting together, we must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lucy. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves and to us. Blood South South's momentum and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But that is not the entire story. Oh. Unlike Wu, Master Yu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Lusu is the true Well, true this friend. alliance would certainly be good for Wu. <laughs> the battle shall take place at Chirpy. We shall use our intellect and courage to seek Cao Cao's great fleet. Alright, here we go. So Zhuge Liang's whole plan is that he's trying to make sure the three kingdoms kind of starts so that it's really just Wei versus Wu versus Shu. Mm-hmm. And winning this battle would allow Shu to like gain its own land and have its own foothold. Yeah, and he was planning on doing that with a, um, essentially a, a fire attack. You're saying this is a hypothetical? No, this is the historical. This is historical? Yeah. Oh, 
So I basically have to defend Jugaleon. My favorite thing right now is, um, is hair shaming. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, excuse me. Oh shit. We got reinforcements. Wait, we meet Sima Yi this fucking early? I didn't realize he was already here. Oh, well, goddamn. Sima Yi is, uh, very important. But not right now. ship. I feel like the fucking spear that Zhao Yun, Zhao Yun uses is like made out of some sort of like rubber or bamboo because it flails all over the place whenever you use it. Yeah, I feel like it would be ba bamboo. Does bamboo do that? I, I think it does. Sorry, what's his name again? Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun? I'm looking it up. Alright, where is he? There he is. Right, so this one, Shu Shu, is on the enemy side. Oh, I can't, I can't find anything where it's fucking weapon. That's fine, it's not that big of a deal. Where the fuck is the horse? Come here, Shu Shu. Oh, this what? group is, like... What is? So this hair shaming group, I joined literally a week ago. Yeah. And when I joined, there were 2,000 members. There's now 6,000 members. Jesus. And I'm an administrator. I wonder what the hell, like, happened for such a large increase. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. It's crazy. And it's like, there's constantly people just fucking requesting. And, and I can't... I can't get through them fast enough, like, like there's like six of us, I think. There's a lot of us. 
and we can't get through the requests fast enough. That's insane. I know. I wonder what the fuck is like. Because it's a tag group. It's like people people tag it when they see ugly hair. And then I guess people are drawing it from that. Then we post our ugly haircuts in it. Yeah. Yeah. I pissed a lot of people off by posting squeezy jibs. You pissed people off? (laughs) Yeah. Because they didn't know who squeezy jibs was. So, like, the squeezy jibs post was like, his son was being bullied for wearing a pink shirt, so he dyed his hair pink. Oh. But he, like, covered his head in pink dye. Oh. Yeah. So, so I posted, because I'm like, haha, squeezy, you're so silly. You're not supposed to put dye directly on your scalp. And people were like, you know, that was actually a really nice sentiment to his son, and you shouldn't be making fun of him for that. Funny enough, um, in the comments of the thread... The one person who was like, no, it's squeezy, like, this is just what he does, was also named Eden. Oh. Yeah. And I'm just like, thank you, other Eden. But yeah. I pissed a whole bunch of people off by posting squeezy jigs. So that thing that I made you download today, do you know what it is? Uh, I do not. Um, so you create, you can create 2D and 3D uh, models in it. Okay. Um, you also use it to create Instagram filters. Oh. Yeah, so you can create your own Instagram filters. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm going to use it for work purposes. Because you know those things that are like, uh, like which Disney villain are you and stuff like that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna do one of those for work. Oh my god, there's more fucking requests! Oh my god, how the fuck did he get there that fast? Okay, we need to fucking follow and fucking. My lord, leave this to me. You flee to safety. Jump down. Thank you. I'll leave things here to you. The hell? Where'd he go? Well, we did that. Yay, you did it. Shall be the beacons to light your way. We must move on, my lord. The next battle has already begun. What? You're leaving already? My apologies, my lady. They really don't, like, explore this relationship that that much. But, like... Liu Bei and Sun Chang Chang are like married. Oh, okay. They get married in the story, but one of them's from Shu, one one of them's from Wu. Oh. So there's a reason that that has happened, and I don't think they're gonna explain it in Shu's point of view, but they will explain it in Wu's point of view because there's it's a very it's kind of a scumbag move. Yeah. Um. I think I want to wait until the Wu campaign to kind of, like, show you what happens with that. Yeah. Oh, she does not like having her toes tickled. Oh, Haley. Not at all. Oh, Haley. <laughs> oh, this dog. She is so upset at me right now for tickling her toes. So, yeah, Liu and Bei got more I'm going to tickle your toes. No. <laughs> so oh, Liu... he doesn't like having his toes tickled. I'm sorry. So, Sun Chuan disagreed at first. He was later persuaded due to the intervention of Lu Su. Yeah, Lu Su is, like, the nice guy. Yeah. So now, after the campaign, Liu Bei got more people, uh, including Pong Tong, Huang Zhong, and Wei Yun. I like that hat. Uh, which one? The, the hat. Pong Tong? The, with the large brimmed hat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that hat. So Pong Tong is supposed to be a strategist just like Xu Ge Liang. They're mm-hmm. like really close friends. Mm-hmm. So here we go. So, uh, Liu Bei was married to Sun Quan's younger sister, Sun Shang Zhang. So that was done. 
uh, basically as like I think they explain in this scene because this is like a little wedding ceremony and now she's got green green on instead of red So the whole thing is supposed to be um, a ploy from Wu. This whole marriage is an incentive so that Shu will not attack Wu. Okay. And Wu can basically get away with a whole bunch of shit behind their back. It's like, if you try and start war with Wu, you married into the family. You're kind of being an asshole for trying to start shit, so... Alright. So, let's see. Next up, we got Battle of Chengdu. Liu Bei has sent his troops to Yi Province, which is ruled by Liu Zhang. Break through the enemy's defensive lines and claim Ba Shui, I believe? So two years have passed since Liu Bei obtained Jing Province. South Side continued to expand his territory to the north, while Sun Quan solidified his hold on Zhengdong. Suddenly, the opportunity Liu Bei had been waiting for finally presented itself. He received a request for reinforcements from Liu Zhang and Han Zong, who had been attacked by Zhang Lu. Liu Bei saw this as a chance to enter Zhe Liu Zhang's territory of Ba Xu and seize the land for himself. If he could do so, then he could realize Zhu Liang's plan to split the land into three kingdoms. Dividing into three, and it was an ambitious plan for him to compete for control of the land together with Cao Cao and Sun Quan. However, would he be able to overtake his own relative, Liu Zhang? Was that the path that he was destined to follow? Well, Liu Zhang is just a common officer. He doesn't have a... He doesn't have, like, a, a special uh, main character model like Liu Bei does. So I'm pretty sure Liu Bei comes out of this fine. Once Liu Bei made up his mind, he advanced. Together, Pang Tong, Wang Zong, and Wei Yan prepared for battle in order to claim a land for Liu Bei. So all three of these characters are new. So we got Pang Tong, who's kind of like a strategist. I like uses, his hat. He uses magic. We got Wei Yan, who's a tough guy, and he has like a double-edged... Um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a double-edged... Double uh, it's like Zhang Fei's weapon, which is like double-sided uh, staff. Uh, and then Huang Zhong uses a bow and arrow. I want Hat Boy. Pang Tong, alright. Pang Tong. So Pang Tong, he's got a giant shadow fan, that's what they call it. Um, sword, let's do... There we go. Quick. Victory Cry, uh, Attack Boost, uh, Mighty Roar, and I always have to put the same items on every single time. I'll do my best, Al. So, not yeah, so Pang Tong actually doesn't have that extensive of a story. Mm. Um, but he has a nice hat. Yeah, he looks he looks cool, but he doesn't really have that much in terms of, like, main shit that he does. Mm -hmm. Actually, one of the most famous things about him is his death, which kind of, like, says a lot about this character. Yeah, someone snuck by Christmas okay. Ross right there. Oh god. He's also kind of like a comedy character, but... Yeah. It's based on the weapon alone. I like his weapon, it's fun. Dude, he's got a crazy horse. I want a mini horse. Oh yeah, a mini horse. Yeah, I was telling Trevor today, I want a mini horse. When we, when we have a home. Oh god. Alright, just gotta... What the fuck was that? What? What happened? It was an ad autoplay and I thought my volume was off.
Come on, where is the... There's the horse. Let's get on the horse and let's fucking fight! Oh, there's more fucking joint requests. I can't believe this. Jesus. It just doesn't fucking stop. So yeah, that attack was actually supposed to gravely injure uh, Pang Tong. dad jokes in a while. Do you want to hear some dad jokes? Uh, sure. <coughs> While I kind of rush through these enemies. What did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? Uh, what? Nothing. It let out a little whine. Alright. I had to wear two pairs of pants today while golfing. There was a hole in one of them. That was cool. You just rise it like a fucking skateboard. Alright. Any other any other dad jokes? Not today. <laughs> that one's good. Oh god, what's this one? My son has been chewing on electrical wires, so I had to ground him. He's doing better now and conducting himself properly. All right. Did you get? Did you yeah, get it? Yeah, okay, I got okay. it. I got it. Don't worry. Someone commented, "That's good. When you get shocked, it hurts." But H E R T Z. <laughs> my dick is a lot like my political beliefs. Left leaning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that one was funny. I treat unknown dogs like a phone call. I always check the caller ID. My new favorite thing is gripping foods with force and Carter doesn't like it. Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. Yeah. Why is naked pronounced naked, but baked is pronounced baked instead of bacon? Save Liu Bei. Save him. Come on, save Liu Bei. Save him. Save him. <laughs> So when we move, are we going to have a nerf gun fight? Ooh, he's a flamey boy. He's a flamey skateboarder. Mm. So here I am, doing, doing everything, everything I, I can. can. Uh, something Holding so on to what I am. I, I was never a skateboarder. Pretending I'm a superman. Yeah, I was not a, I was not a, I was not how the kids would call it. A skateboarder? You were not athletic? Um, excuse me, but athletics is... There's a lot of things that can be classified as athletic. Mm -hmm. I played hockey for ten years. Does that not make me athletic? 
makes a different kind of athletic. Whoa, what? What do we got here? There's a cutscene. We got a cutscene. Oh shit, people are fighting. Whoa, people are fighting in Dynasty Warriors? Oh! Watch out, my die. Oh, I like his helmet. Oh, yeah. Oh, here comes Machao. Those are definitely some polygons. Would you like it back? No, it's okay. Okay. Carter's blowing cut right now. <laughs> oh, God, here they come. It's the baby! Oh shit. She doesn't like having your boss take off. So I don't know what that means. Come now, my chow! Oh shit. Standing right in front of us. <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck. Well, he's done. And now Ma Chow has surrendered to us. And now Ma Dai has joined us. And now panic has arised within the castle. And now we can just basically go take it over. Good. You know what game I really want to try playing when it comes out? What? I don't know if it's going to come out here in the, in the West, but mm -hmm. uh, Persona 5 Scramble. Oh, I know. How, how bad do you want to play that? Yeah. There's a lot of enemies here. Mm -hmm. Jesus. But yeah, Persona 5 Scramble is supposed to be like the Dynasty Warriors for, for Persona 5. Because mm -hmm. it's made by the same team. So... Yeah. Would you believe it that Dynasty Warriors actually has a hell of a lot more presence in Japan than it does here? No, really? <laughs> yep. Shut up, Liu Zhang. Oh, there's Peng Tong. Oh shit. Master Liu Chong. I'm don't go feeling sorry for him. Hmm? Listen carefully. The people are happy to be your subjects. A benevolent man would go to them. Oh. What is he insinuating? <laughs> he can't actually show you the audience. Uh, but you can hear the audience. Oh no. Here, there, there's. That's where he goes. You're the only one that was speaking. There are times when it can be best to hide your true face. No matter what happens, you must keep 
showing the people a benevolent visage. Enough. I understand. Say no more. Yes. This is my final lecture. Fly high, my lord. God damn, so I guess I missed one of the fucking hypotheticals. Because, yeah, Peng Tong does die, mm -hmm. but if I got the hypotheticals, he would have lived. So, why don't I check that, actually? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I didn't get either of the fucking... I don't even know what they were. What did I get? I don't remember what the... I didn't get Chirbys either. What the hell? It's okay. We can uh, go back and get them another time. Well, we still... I have enough time for one more. Okay. So. I don't think I've. Oh my god, you're fucking shy. I'm gonna take a brush to you. Um. Here, I'm gonna take a brush to you while you're playing. Are you sure that's, uh. Well, okay. Taking a brush to you. Alright, so. Why don't we do. Why don't we do Escape from Zhang Gong? So, this is an Extreme Legends, uh. side quest. Liu Bei joined forces with Sun Chuan and defeated Cao Cao Cao's army at Chur B. However, the victory left a sense of un uh, uneasiness within Sun Chuan. We're doing one of the legends. Nice. Later on, Sun Chuan proposed a marriage alliance to Liu Bei, who then set out for Zhangdong. He was to be married to Sun Chuan's younger sister, Sun Chang Zhang. I always believed that this marriage would serve to mutually strengthen the bonds between the two kingdoms. Having been attracted to one another for some time, both Liu Bei and Sun Cheng Cheng welcomed the news. So I believe this is So, so they were like, hey, this is going to be a political marriage. And then the two of them were like, that's great, we already fucked. Well, like, they already were, like, building a relationship with each other. But yeah. uh, in this legend thing, uh, uh, the whole thing's a ploy just to go and assassinate Liu Bei. Oh. So. Well, okay. So in order to escape from danger, Liu Bei took Sun Cheng Zhang and uh, fled, accompanying them as their escort was Zhao Yun, rose to defend his lord and lady. Mm -hmm. A grand ploy play was about to unfold as the man of virtue himself attempted to flee from the lies and deception of Zhang Dong. Let's go with uh, so the Let's go with the boy. The yeah, boy. Oh, so I I don't think I mentioned what I'm doing for dinner tonight. What? what? I'm just gonna leave that comb right there. <laughs> So, um, I bought some cheese curds for Carter, because we're out of cheese, because we still have cheese. I eat a shit ton of oh cheese. Oh my god, you eat so much fucking... Be thankful you're not lactose intolerant, like me and your mom, like... Oh my god. Oh my god. You would be really upset at you, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, maximum already. Yeah. So, Carter eats a lot of cheese, and we just happen to have a lot of chips at home, so I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make poutine with, uh, potato chips. I love it. Yeah, that's exactly what you want, like this right? God, we have to go. We have to go back up and go around back. God damn it! I like that's just staying there. Oh yeah, that's how heavy my my. I was about to say my fur. <laughs> <laughs> that's how heavy my hair is. <laughs> Am I just a furry? Is that it? You're a humanized furry. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, I have a lot of chest hair. I have a lot of hair in general. Yeah. So. I was, uh, I was just combing Carter's chest. Because, um, yeah, I got, like, a handful of hair. So I'm like, I'm just gonna fucking comb it. Get, get rid of that. Detangle you. So, I will say, uh, out of all the female characters, Sun Chen Chang is actually my favorite. I'm gonna open the- thank you. Open the door. Because she's essentially, like... She's essentially a tomboy. You know how much I love tomboys. Oh, I know how much you love tomboys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, what? So, I'm in this group called Science Diagrams that look like shit posts. Okay. And someone posted a picture of their textbook. 
and I totally read it wrong. So it's actually herpes genitalis and the philosopher's stance. <laughs> but I read it as Harry Potter and the philosopher's stone. <laughs> oh boy. They're both terrible things anyways. You are doing an excellent job. You are doing an excellent job. Good job. Oh shit, why the fuck is she all the way out here? What are you doing? Chang. Don't go out here by yourself. Damn girl, you're, are you a tuba? Because you're being played by a really weird dude. Huh. What's, uh, how much time do we have on the recording? Um, well, we're at 36 minutes. After this, we'll, we'll probably be done. Yeah. I'm so excited to fight Persona when you're done this. Oh, it's Ding Fong. Let me, let me fix that so Ding Fong has the record for uh, out of all the unique characters, he's got the record for being the one that stays alive the longest throughout the entirety of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Oh well, goddamn. Yeah. So, in terms of the Wu army, I'll say that. Okay. Out of all the Wu characters, he's the one that stays alive the longest. So. Nice. Because uh, there is a kingdom after the main three. Mm -hmm. That I think I've mentioned this already. They're yeah. the they're a kingdom that is the one that unites the three lands. Mm -hmm. the, unites them all. Crystal pets the dog. Oh no, she's concerned. Can I tickle your armpit? Alright, come Haley on. also doesn't like it when you tickle her armpits. She's right. like people. Are you like people? Did you like the peanut butter I gave you? Abducted? Abduct her? This was a fucking marriage. It was a legal binding marriage. Yeah. Oh shit, I have to go back and... I have to go back and take them out. I want cookies. We don't have any cookies. We do have cookies. We have cookies? Remember those uh, those knockoff Oreos I bought? Oh, well, I want like chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Yeah. Well, you got me ice cream though, right? Yeah, it's in the freezer. Okay. I want to have ice cream, Haley. Oh, it's not just any kind of... Uh... Is, is it cookie dough ice cream? Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love you before, but like... Hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure I got... Uh, it's the right kind. Yeah, okay, alright. Why the fuck are they following me? Oh. Guys, you were supposed to go to the fucking end. Liu Bei, where are you? Come here, dude. Alright, you're supposed to follow me. Carter got me a BJ. Um, a Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Find the guy no. who's controlling the tigers and defeat no, him. No, Haley. Yeah, this is definitely not something you can have, Haley. Here you are, tiger controlling guy. I'm happy now. Yeah, I know. I'm not fucking. All right, we defeated the Tigers. God damn, he's a fucking paranoid motherfucker in this in this route. Friendly reminder that Ben and Jerry, like the actual Ben and Jerry of Ben and Jerry's, were uh, were arrested and uh, and like taken to prison for a bit because they were protesting against police brutality. Oh yeah, you told me this. Mm. I love Ben and Jerry. And their ice cream is really great too. 
Gan Ning. Holy shit, you little slut! You can't have this! Carter, the dog's a slut. Come here! God damn it! Wait. Come on, open it up. Open the gate. Open the gate, motherfucker. Open it. There you are, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, stop the ballistas. Alright, come on, guys. Are they all? Are they all just being really fucking gay? There's a lot of enemies on the field. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on, get through there. Let's go. Oh god. Is that tie? got this. Done. Got it. If we have made it this far, we should be all right. Now, let us return to those that are waiting for us. Let us return to those who are waiting for us. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that uh, little legend thing. I think that's going to be it for this part as well. It's at, like, 42 minutes, so yeah. that seems meaty enough. Mm. But, uh, let's actually, I want to just check something here. What was that? Uh, this one, whenever we do do that, it's got a hypothetical to get the next mission afterwards, so Ooh. we'll have to do that. Um, but yeah, at some point I'm going to have to go through and beat some of these hypotheticals, like look them up and beat them on my own, because mm -hmm. uh, I do not know what they would be. Brody Lee posted an hour ago, I've been drunk since Saturday. He's been drunk since Saturday? <laughs> Yes, he won. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you got any final words, babe? I love you. Here's Arco okay. with a bunch of knives. Well, you know you know what I have to say? And this has to do with uh, with Brody. What? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want it's my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby switched. back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby Cheese, baby back ribs. Cheese, baby back ribs.